Hello, welcome to Mr. Herder's Physical Science class. Today you'll be watching a video of a presentation uh, that I'll be giving. Um, in normal circumstances, you'd take notes off of this. Um, the reason you want to take notes is because the majority of the test questions and all of the quiz questions you'll be taking come from the notes. And also you get extra credit point for taking notes. Uh, but again, you don't have to take notes for this one. This is more of a kind of an orientation type video um, to get you used to navigating uh, the video itself, um, also looking at the presentation that's posted online, how to look at that, um, and maybe do some things different, uh, and allow you to catch a lecture uh, presentation that you didn't catch all of in classroom, uh, maybe you were sick that day, or maybe we're home with the whole COVID situation. Um, so this is how I'll do most of our presentations, um, so there'll always be an online version of it, uh, as well as the link. Uh, to the presentation itself, so you can actually go through it without having me uh, narrate it if you would like. Uh, so let's get started on our little presentation for today. Uh, the question is, why science? I love science. Um, science answers a lot of great questions um, and explains things. Um, and so a lot of people, you know, may scoff or, I mean, science class is just, you know, whatever. It's just kind of like anything. However, I believe science is really important because whether you realize it or not, you're always doing science. Uh, so let's jump into what is science and why do we have science. Uh, the first thing we're talking about is the nature of science. Uh, what is science? Well, science is a systematic study of how things are built, of how they behave uh, in our physical and natural world. And, and we interact with those things, we understand them uh, through observation and experimentation. Um, I have a definition right here, which is kind of what I paraphrased a little bit. And what it basically boils down to is that there's a set way, a systematic study of how we look at things, how they're constructed, uh, how they behave. Um, and we do that through observation. We look at it and also we do experiments. If we do this, then this happens. Uh, there's a great video out there uh, that explains kind of what is science in further detail. So I won't do it here in the video, but in the presentation link that you have, if you go through there, you can just select that and it will go ahead and play the video for you. Uh, and that gives some more information on how and what that looks like. So why does Mr. Herder love science so much? I love science so much because it explains things to me. Um, I have done a lot of different things in life and as we get to know each other and do classes up together, you'll find out um, teaching is actually my third career. Um, I was in the military for a long time. I did some contracting for the military. Um, and then I also was a mechanic. Uh, and I've worked on boats, planes, and motorcycles, and cars in that mechanic capacity. So I've done a lot of different things. And science is always there um, because it's how you interact with the world. Um, you do anything, you're actually doing science. Uh, and it just helps explain the whys and the hows of everything that I'm very curious about and I want to know. And so hopefully you'll kind of pick up on that passion that I have, enthusiasm, and you'll see in your own life uh, why science is such an important part of what we do and who we are. So the question is then, how do we do science? This science thing that you're talking about of experimentation and observation, how do we do it? Well, you actually do it all the time. When you woke up this morning, uh, believe it or not, you did science. You started brushing your teeth, you ate breakfast, you ran bus, or however you're sitting in the classroom, whatever the things that you're doing, from point A to point B, you have to do science, whether it's behavioral science, looking at understanding how people are feeling through their facial expressions, their posture, whether it's actually eating something to get energy from that. That's why we eat. We eat to get energy. That energy is then used in our body to do different things. And so that science is a way of answering questions about the world that we live in. Um, and the reason that we talk about it and it's so important to do good science because you want to get the best answers. Um, and we need to make sure to do that, that we ask really good questions. Uh, for example, have your parents ever asked you, how are you feeling? That's a really broad question. And most of the time, you're just like, nah, I'm okay, good. You know, my teenagers grunt a lot when I ask that question. I didn't ask a good question. I saw that there was maybe something wrong with them, and then I should ask more specific question rather than just how you're feeling, okay? If you want a good answer, you have to ask a question. Again, you responded probably maybe not the way your parents wanted you to respond, okay? Uh, so what is a better way to ask that question? Uh, for instance, I noticed on my son, uh, he was kind of like wincing a little bit, you know, not moving around really well, and so I figured he was probably in pain. 
So a better way to ask that question is, hey, are you a little stiff? What happened? Did, you know, a good question results in a better answer, and then we can fix that problem. All right. In addition, in helping us do good science, what we as scientists have done, um, and I say we scientists because there's tons of scientists all over the world, and this goes back a long way, several hundred years, um, we developed a thing called the scientific method. And that's the first topic we're really going to cover in class uh, next week. Um, so I'm just going to briefly touch on it now. And as a matter of fact, there's actually a video that you can watch that talks about the scientific method through Crash Course videos. Um, Crash Course is a great uh, resource to use um, that gives you some great information out there in a really compact, concise format. Um, and so he's going to talk about the scientific method. So in the presentation, go ahead, select that video, watch it, and understand kind of where the scientific method came from. And in so doing, you'll have a little bit of head start on the topic we're going to start talking about next week. All right. And that is the end of the little short presentation. Again, this is just to kind of help uh, you understand what we're doing, um, how this is going to work uh, in the classroom. Uh, when you're not here, like on every Wednesday, you'll be in a different class that kind of rotates every week. Um, so when you're not here, I expect uh, the expectation is that you get on Google Classroom, you watch the presentation, the video uh, that's there, take notes from it. Um, there may be some other stuff on Wednesday, but generally I'll try to do presentations and notes on Wednesday to give you that information. Um, that way when we transition and if we transition to home uh, due to the COVID stage three, um, you'll have uh, expertise and valuable experience on how to get notes and uh, presentations uh, from me and the information that you might have.